endless sports. But as we look back in the rearview mirror this past week, one of the biggest wins around was for Paloma Valley in the old Menifee Bowl. Joining us here on the show, he is the head coach of the Wildcats. This guy is a big deal. He is the head coach for Paloma. He is Zach Dilly. Coach Dilly, first off, I, I do want to talk about this year's team. I do want to talk about your game against Valley View. But how do you do, ignore the fact that you guys beat Heritage for the very first time? I know you're a Paloma guy. How sweet was that win for the Wildcats? Yeah, you know, that was that was a pretty amazing win. You know, definitely one that you'll remember forever. And just, just happy for these kids, you know, to get that first win, you know, in that big game. It's been, I think, 11 years, you know, Paloma has fallen behind and not won that game. And so to finally get that off our backs is – it's really cool, and, and I think it's a big, you know, milestone for these kids, and hopefully we can just boost off of that and get even better. And what about just the setting? You know, it's, it's a Friday night. It's the Menifee Bowl. It's pouring down <laughs> rain. You know, it's a big rivalry game. Um, it, it just, you know, just the fact that Menifee loves this football game. It's a huge rivalry game, and for you guys to do it in such, you know, dramatic fashion, again, with under the rain, you know, the, the whole scene um, – you know, I, I'd imagine for at least the, the team and the campus, that's a big morale booster, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. It, it was amazing. Uh, it was, and yeah, just like you're saying with the setting, too. It was, it was like a, almost like a storybook thing, almost, you know, movie-ish, too. You know, some of the pictures that came out were really cool with the rain in, yeah. in the middle of it, too. And, yeah, it was, again, it's just, it's just awesome for these kids, man. I'm just glad that they were able to share this moment with each other and, and everybody and, you know, take it with them forever. <laughs> So, Coach, you're three and one. You count the win against Heritage. Now you're three and one on the season going into this Valley View game. But winning three of your first four games, how important is it for this team to get some early wins under your belt like they have just to maybe build some confidence, build some, some momentum going into league play? And who knows, maybe, maybe a playoff run. Right. Yeah, no, it's definitely important. And that's something that I've, that I've tried to preach to these guys for a while is, is, you know, if you guys believe in yourselves, you can play with anybody that you, that you want to. You know who? Oh. Is it, am I still on here? Okay, sorry. Good. <laughs> um, yeah, so that, that, that you can compete with anybody on our schedule, you know, and um, just try to, you know, instill that confidence, like you said, and, and make sure that they know just because somebody else makes a play doesn't mean you're not going to make any more. You just got to keep on pushing and making more plays. Coach, going back to that Heritage game, what do you think was the difference in that game? What did you guys do well that you hope maybe can, you know, carry over this week against Valley View? What did you guys do well against the Patriots? Well, um, you know, kind of going along the lines of that, it's just it's a different mindset with these kids this year. That this year they're resilient. You know, they they know that you know just because something else happens from the other team that that doesn't mean the game's over. And and a big part of that was our running game and our O line. You know, our O line blocked really well all night. Stephen ran hard. Stephen Gallegos he ran really hard all night long. And and we look to do the same again. You know, this week and and open it up even more. You know, Coach, Paloma's had some great running backs uh, come through the program, and it sounds like Steven Gallegos is a, the next guy up, right, to be a great running back. You mentioned the offensive line, you know, really paving the way for him, but specifically for Steven, what do you think makes him a, a special running back? Well, you know, first off is his natural ability. You know, he's about 6'1", 6'2", and he's 225, but uh, he's one of the fastest kids on the team as well. You know, they just had a race last week, and he beat just about everybody in a 40 um and and he's just he's a student of the game too you know he's originally a baseball player this is one of the this is only his what like 10th game coming up in his whole career and he's just absorbing everything and, and each week you see different moves different cuts um you know he's lowering his shoulder better he's just improving all the time and you can tell that he's just a hungry athlete wait so coach how did you get him to, to come out for football did you see him on campus or were you like dude you are way too big and strong uh, to, to just be playing baseball, you can't come out and play football. How did you get him out there? You know, to be honest, uh, last season, midway through, he just kind of showed up. I, I, did, I wasn't even aware that he was, you know, on campus. Typically, our baseball players, they kind of stick to, stick to baseball. So, you know, I kind of, you know, I try to get them out there, you know, sometimes. But, you know, I, I usually they don't, so I don't bother with it too much. But he happened to come out, and he stuck with it. And, hey, like I said, he's, he's just been improving and, and being a good ball player. Big, fast, and strong, right, man? That's uh, the perfect football player right there. Uh, Coach, going into this week, uh, you got Valley View coming up uh, for the Wildcats here. Um, what do you guys just need to continue doing well that you, you guys have done through the first four games of the season to kind of feel like you continue to, you know, just build? You've got that foundation, you know, continue to build on top of that and just layer up maybe, like I said, maybe a league championship in your future. Yeah, you know, um, I've challenged the kids this week to, you know, uh, improve everything in their job. 
you know, um, let's keep on improving, getting better, uh, focus on what you need to do to be the best player that you can be for this team, and uh, just continue to challenge yourself in that, in that regard every single day, not only on the field, but even in the classroom. You've got grades coming up. You've got to make sure that you're staying on top of things, all that stuff. Be a complete athlete, challenge yourself to be that guy, and bring the best out of yourself. Coach, do you kind of chunk out the season between – you know, regular season or like, you know, non-league, non-league, league, and then maybe, uh, you know, the playoff portion. And going into the season, you know, was the, the mindset, hey, guys, we're a playoff team. We, we should be competing for a league championship, um, you know, by week number 10. What was kind of the mindset going in? And, and did you kind of break up the season, like, like I said, non-league, league, and, and playoffs? Um, no, actually, you know, I, I kind of take it the week to week approach for the most part. I don't like our, our guys getting too far ahead of themselves and, and stumbling over what's right in front of them. Um, so I try to take it week by week. Um, and even though we're trying to build confidence as well, I also want to stay humble and continue to, to, to learn and work hard and, and just get better with the game. Um, you know, yeah, just, just continue to be diligent and just absorb everything that you can. All right, Coach, finally, there's got to be a little pep in your step at practice this week after beating Heritage, right? Does it feel, it feel good to be back on the field coming off that big win? <laughs> oh, yeah, it sure does. Yeah, it sure, sure makes coming into work, you know, a lot of fun. <laughs> and it's good to see, you know, yeah, like you said earlier, the, the morale on campus boosting a little bit. Everybody kind of talking about it like, hey, good job, you know, great, great, great job last week, all that stuff. Uh, yeah, it's definitely good. But we're ready to, to move on and, and, like I said, stay humble and know that we got another opponent that could beat us right in front of us and, and continue to get better. You beat Heritage. They're going to build you a statue, Coach Dilly. They're going to have like a, the Coach <laughs> Dilly statue at, out in front of the stadium. <laughs> First guy to beat Heritage in the Menifee Bowl. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know about all that. That'd be, that'd be a big statue. <laughs> Coach, listen, I, I appreciate the time. Thank you for making time for us here on the Inland Sports Show. Congrats on the great start. Uh, best of luck against Valley View. And uh, hopefully this is a very long season for the Wildcats as uh, you guys make your way through league play and hopefully a, a deep C CIF run as well. Yep, that's the goal. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. He is the real deal. Coach Zach <laughs> Dilly, the head coach of the Paloma Valley Wildcats here on the show. Thanks again, Coach. We appreciate it. All right, that is Zach Dilly, head football coach for the Bloma Valley Wildcats here on the Inland Sports Show. That'll take us into our first commercial break. Inland